What's up guys, Ashley here and I am back with another video. Here today to show you how I changed my boring office nook into a beautiful functional office space. Let's check it out. So I have been working from home for a little while now, a little over six months, and the kitchen table just isn't cutting it for me. So I figured I'd knock out this boring old office nook that I have in my house. So I'm excited to be partnering up with the Home Depot to transform this space. So since this little office nook is a little small, I wanted it to feel a lot bigger than it is. So I decided to paint the surrounding walls with white. Now, I will be using two different whites. The walls on the surrounding walls is more of an off-white color, as you can see, and it'll really brighten up the space. Now, once I got most of the painting done on those surrounding walls, I started installing the shiplap. Now, I really love shiplap because it's an easy way to transform a space. It's really quick and easy to use. You just cut it to size, put it in place, and with some brad nails, you can secure it to the wall. So as you can see here, I'm just placing the shiplap on the wall, cutting it to size to make sure it's a good fit, and then I'm gonna put it all along the back wall. Now, I just recently did a kitchen reno project and I used ButcherBlock countertop and I fell in love. So I knew I wanted to incorporate that same ButcherBlock into my project. So I decided to get a slab of ButcherBlock and put it on my desk and it just totally elevated the space. Who said ButcherBlock was just for countertops? Now, if you're on a budget, paint is always a great way to transform a space. So I decided to paint the existing cabinets that were there in my office nook, a beige color, and the existing desk. And I really love how it looked. It made it look nice and clean. Now, if you're a beginner painter, don't fret because the Home Depot has got you covered. On their site, they actually have a paint calculator that helps you decide just how much paint you need and they also help you choose the type of sheen and the type of paint that's best for your project. And you should be well in your way. With shiplap being such an easy DIY and paint not taking a bunch of time, I was already seeing that the project was starting to wrap up which was awesome for me because I wanted this to be a quick project that I could do in a weekend. Now once the shiplap was all installed, I went back and filled all of the brad nail holes with wood filler. Now I specifically love using this wood filler because it goes on pink and it dries natural so you know just when it's all dry and ready to go. So I'm just filling in those nail holes to make sure that when I paint, there's a seamless look on the shiplap. One other thing that I'm doing before I paint is going back and caulking all of those gaps and lines around the corners. Now, if you have imperfections with your shiplap on the corners or on the sides, caulk is a good way to hide those imperfections. So as you can see, I'm just going around and make sure that all of the gaps and the lines are filled in so I have a nice clean look. Now it's time for paint. Well, almost. Don't forget to sand down um, those little nail holes once you fill it with wood filler. You can just do a little quick sanding just to make sure that it's nice and clean. So as I mentioned before, the adjoining walls are more of an off-white, so I decided to make the back wall with the shiplap an ultra pure white to give the space some contrast. Here, I'm just using a roller brush to roll on that white. I probably did about two to three coats um, I made sure to put an extra little paint over the nail holes just because that wood filler was showing a little bit so they needed a little more coverage but after about two or three coats it really looked nice and clean. Once I finished painting out the shiplap and doing some final touch up to the cabinets and the desk the office space was done. So before I started the project, I decided to sift through Home Depot's website to decide what decor items I wanted to add to my office space. So I ordered a few things and all of the items qualified for free shipping. So they came straight to my door. And once I was finished with the space, I was able to put them in there and they look so great.
I'm most in love with this office chair that I got. It's like a nice velvety tufted chair. Such a good quality and I love sitting in it and it looks so great in my space. Now, if you're looking to transform a space in your house, I hope this video inspires you to get out there and get it done. Later, y'all.